Hello, welcome to The Purpose Walk, a place where every aspect of your life matters. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, you're welcome. If you haven't yet subscribed, please go ahead and click the subscription icon to stay tuned. Okay, so today I will be talking about something that is very sensitive. However, it needs to be addressed. Okay, so you and I know that words carry a lot of weight. Words can build and destroy someone's life because I know a number of people that are still wallowing in their in, in their unforgiveness, people that are still going through certain things or people that are still uh, carrying certain hate because they are still holding on to the words that were spoken to someone. And we know that words that hurt the most are the words that come from people that we love, people that we trust, people that we look up to. When someone whom you look up to says a certain negative weight to you, it will remain it will remain with you and it will keep haunting you because you trust this person and you believe that whatever they have said to you is truth. So I want to read from the book of Proverbs 15 verse 4 and the word of God says that gentle words bring life and health but a deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Now that's talking about the words that we say. So if you say kind words, if you say wonderful words to someone, they will calm them down, they will bring, uh, uh, they will lift their spirits, they will, they, will give, they will keep them in good health because you've mentioned, you've said something nice to them. Because, you know, uh, I'll give an example of maybe if you visited someone at the hospital and they are on that sick bed, they have not had any visitor visit them or uh, to see them, how to see how they are doing. And you've just visited them and you've said a word of encouragement to them. You've maybe told them, you will get well, you will you'll be fine, you'll be all right. You, you get out of this sick bed very soon. That person's spirit will be lifted because they'll believe your words and it, it will just bring healing to their soul, you know? So if it's the same if you say hateful words to someone. It, they, will meet, they will really demean them. They will really uh, hate their ego. They will hate their feelings. And this is what I want us to talk about today. So in a short while, I'll be talking about some of the insensitive jokes say to other people that really hurt them and leave them wounded. Insensitive jokes can really be hurting. They can be so hurtful and so harmful, not only to the soul, but to someone's life. One of the insensitive jokes that people say that leave people wounded is, you have gained or you have lost. Because today you, you will find that people are making you have gained or you have lost so much weight as a greeting, which other people may not tell you because someone probably maybe is from giving birth or maybe they are still pregnant and maybe they've had few challenges because there are people who, when they are stressed, they eat a lot. And so they gain, definitely they'll have to gain. So you may say such words to them and already they are going through a stressful moment it will be so hurting to them that they may enter into depression. Why? Because your words have carried a lot of weight, a lot of weight upon them, and they've just they've just taken you by your word. And they'll be looking at themselves and thinking, okay, so probably I'm not looking beautiful, or I've really gained so much weight, or I've lost so much weight, and I look in a certain way. So please be mindful of what you tell to someone. Please, you have gained or you have lost so much weight is not a greeting. It is not a greeting. So another thing, another insensitive joke that I've come across, and I'm sure you have also come across, is the joke of applauding rap. With so many rap cases that are going on today in the world, I'm telling you some of them were, when it, were initiated or activated by that word or that joke of rape you know i just saw something on social media some months back where uh, someone had posted a picture of their child their baby girl on facebook and a person came to comment uh with regard of enticing rape that i would rape this child really who would really make such a joke or such a statement to a child who knows nothing. Regardless, rape is still a case, a big case that deserves punishment. So there's no excuse as to whether you were joking or you were not joking. You cannot make such insensitive jokes. 
please do not make such insensitive jokes that you applaud rape or cause someone to commit rape it is not it is not even an excuse to do so it i've been married for five years now and i remember in my first year of marriage uh some people were still expecting you know the society will always expect certain things from you especially if you're a newlywed so i remember about six months down the line in, in our marriage uh, i had some friends that came to ask me how come you're, you're not yet pregnant you are delaying kids from going to school so you need to hurry up you know you need to hurry up and and you know, sometimes, yes, you may ignore it because you know what you're doing and you know what you and your partner have planned. But to some extent, it may eat you up and it, it may leave a certain feeling on you that may make you feel, okay, maybe I really am delayed or maybe I really have to catch up, you know. But that's that, that should not be the case. You are not supposed to be under pressure. You do not owe anyone an explanation as to why you haven't yet conceived and you know such is an a very insensitive way that someone would say to someone because you know there are certain people that probably maybe they were pregnant and maybe they had a miscarriage or maybe they they just don't have kids and then you say such an insensitive job to someone you know in as much as you are friends and you joke around but it is just so insensitive it, they may not tell you there and then how they are feeling about your, your statement or your joke, but it really carries a lot of weight and it just leaves someone thinking and people have felt wounded. And you know, sometimes it, it is difficult to conceive because you are under stress. Please let us not say such insensitive things as you are not yet pregnant. Why is, what are you still waiting for? Uh, you're supposed to be pregnant by now. People do not owe you an explanation, you know, and there are people who are still fighting certain things that you may not know, but because of your words, they may be really wounded. So please, watch your words. So I don't know about you, but I've heard of people who have said, don't you admire friends being married? Don't you admire marriage? Don't you wish to be married? I mean, of course, maybe there are people who've, who have resolved not to get married or to marry but trust me this there's a void inside of them that longs to get married and longs to settle down so please do not say certain words such as uh don't you admire getting married don't you can't you see your friends are married and what about you such insensitive jokes are are serious they, they leave an impact on someone's life and you know of people are under pressure today because they are thinking of certain words that were said to them and even when they were not concentrating on the people that are getting married once you tell them that insensitive joke they'll begin to think okay that's true uh mary my friend is married john is married uh gracious is married and i'm the only one who's not married in our in my circles uh, of friends so probably something is wrong with me you know so please do not say certain insensitive words because you never know people are fighting battles that you will never know in the background behind the curtain there are a lot of things that people are fighting and you will never know certain things so make sure that you say kind words words that will uplift the other person words that will build them words that will will make them look forward and not wait that would demean them or feel they are not man enough or woman enough or a friend comes to encourage you on a certain word I'll, my spirit will be uplifted i'll feel okay i'm not alone there's someone who is encouraging me there's someone who is walking through this journey with me and if you say demean demeanful words or words that will hurt someone they'll be feeling all kinds of what is my life worth then what well, i'm really i'm really not making it or i'm really not there i'm just on the down low. may you not be the reason why someone is wounded or miserable or living a miserable life because of the words that you say to them if you realize or identify someone that you you might have wounded with your words please go back and apologize to them because they may carry those words as they do life and it may really leave a huge impact because 
though that person will be someone's husband in the future that person will be someone's wife in the future or maybe they are already married or, or maybe they will have children and you can imagine if you leave such an impact of hateful words upon them it, they will really bring up certain kids who will uh, probably be brought in a certain way in a certain way because of the words that they have grown up with and the words that they've maybe entered with in marriage so please be mindful of your words say words that will build someone words that will help someone words that will uplift another person and encourage them in your day-to-day -day life because people are fighting battles that you will never know behind the scenes thank you for watching this video and i hope that you have subscribed to my youtube channel this is gracious caliondo until next time bye bye